Hi, I'm Sharmila Dorbala. I'm a cardiologist and a cardiovascular imager from Brigham and Women's Hospital, Harvard Medical School in Boston. Until now, we had no definitive treatments for amyloidosis. So although we were able to diagnose it, we were not able to help the patients necessarily by specific treatment. What's exciting now with amyloidosis is that we have um, at least two or three new drugs that are coming, uh, that are becoming available for treating amyloidosis. And because of that, there's a renewed interest in better detection of amyloidosis. One of the key developments in uh, diagnosing amyloidosis is that we can now detect amyloidosis by using a scan of the heart, uh, using either uh, technetium 99M labeled pyrophosphate called PYP, or we could use tracers called uh, HMDP or DPD. So the big advantage with this is now um, that we can diagnose transthyretine form of amyloidosis using a scan without the need for a biopsy of the heart muscle. So as you can imagine, now this test opens up the possibility of not only detecting patients with significant symptoms, but we can now use a scan to diagnose amyloidosis in patients who have suspected amyloidosis without having to biopsy the heart. So ASNIC would play a key role uh, in amyloidosis because uh, ASNIC uh, is the organization that supports nuclear cardiology worldwide and technetium 99 m pyrophosphate imaging of the heart is being developed by ASNIC. We've developed um, practice points for uh, physicians to implement this new imaging in their practices and we will be working now on a registry to collect data on uh, PYP imaging across medical centers in the United States. In addition, ASNIC is uh, leading up several initiatives in the next couple of weeks, uh, in the next couple of months to years, uh, to start up new PYP imaging programs at institutions that already have spec scanners and are performing perfusion imaging, but now can add a new test to their armamentarium of nuclear cardiology testing.